Hey everyone, it's Eric with FirearmTutorials.com and today we're going to look at the Condor 36 inch double padded rifle case. I picked this up a while ago, Voodoo Tactical makes one that's very, very similar. This one is a little bit cheaper, but I'll go ahead and show you kind of how I use it and um, some of the features of it in case you're looking at getting one of these. So again, this is the 36 inch. They do make a 42 inch and I believe a 46. I wanted something as small as possible that I could put carbines in. I went with the 36. So this is the configuration it comes in. It comes with these three pouches. See these two on the sides are identical and then this one in the middle is a little bit bigger. It's got a, some Velcro on here in case you want to put a patch on there. Um, but I'll kind of just go ahead and show you what these look like. I just threw some gear in here so you could get an idea of what it looks like. So, you know, you can cinch these. I'll do it on this one here, but I mean, you can cinch these tight to some degree. Um, and, and they do you know, strap down, you can get them tight. I wouldn't put anything small in there. Like if you put a bunch of just loose 22 ammo in here and threw it in your trunk and is rattling around, they would probably still come out the top. I think I had that happen, which is why I don't really use these to hold um, small things. These are kind of just, um, you know, for odds and ends. The middle package I'll use for, you know, safety gear. I've got chamber flags, glasses, uh, suppressor parts and these are pretty durable like you you can load these up with a good amount of weight and you don't have to worry about things ripping through them you know you could put knives or anything in here and it's it's not going to poke a hole through them at least not easily because they are uh, some it's nice durable material um, obviously you've got the clasps here and so you can see here they've got the lockable zippers if you wanted to go that route and then underneath these are all molly attached so you can pull these off the buttons are nice and strong you see there but you know just your standard molly configuration these ones on the side I hardly ever use so I just put them on here to show you what the bag comes with but the good thing about this is you can put whatever you want on here so if you have something else like so that's you know you can put them on there um, what else have I got here if you wanted to do pistol mags you could do that so you kind of just mix and match whatever you want to put on here, which is good. I would say though, if you're gonna put something really heavy, like even these, these are MP5 mags. So you figure 30 rounds of nine millimeter in here. These are pretty heavy. So if you carry this bag, um, just keep in mind that the weight is going to, you know, kind of pull the, this side of the bag. So keep that in mind. It hasn't really bothered me too much, but something to be aware of. Um, this one I usually roll with, like I said, and then if we look at the inside, so this will fold down. On the inside here, you don't have anything, which I think the Voodoo Tactical one has like some zippered pouches that you could put stuff like this in. That's one of the only things that I wish this bag did have. Obviously, you've got the zippers on each side, so you can go all the way to one side, all the way to the left, or meet them in the middle. Then in here, you know, you can kind of put whatever you want. I just put a handgun, a couple suppressors. And then on here, you've got some pretty thick Velcro, just got tax stamps, targets. So you see, this is, I really like this because the targets actually stay flat in here versus some of the other bags, the ends get all uh, bent up and stuff like that. If I have some other stuff in here that's metal and I have a pistol that I don't want to get all scratched up, uh, I can put it in here. So that's nice. And this Velcro is, is very tough like you don't have to worry about stuff falling out of these I've put some I've loaded this side of the bag up before and I've never had an issue so you see we can do like such and then when we get into the uh, inside same deal you've got the the two zippers and then when it comes down you know you've got one side that you can put a rifle in I don't have actually have one in here obviously um, and then the other side is identical so you see here you've got just velcro here that you can keep it flat you've got these flaps on the inside to keep the muzzle and the stock in and um, I've put two guns in here you know two ARs with with no problems I didn't really you know you've got this padded divider in here which is pretty thick I didn't really worry about them you know getting banged against each other or anything 
Um, you see I've got an EOTech on here, so I've had it with an EOTech and then an ACOG. Um, I will say though, with this case, you're really limited to like the 16 inch guns. So I tried to put an 18 inch uh, Remington 870 and I couldn't get it to fit like about two inches of the muzzle stuck out the bag, even at an angle. So if you want to use this bag, the 36 inch one, just remember that you're really not going to get anything longer than a 16 inch gun in here. Um, unless you've got something with like a folding stock or, you know, a retractable stock. So that's something to be aware of. Now, the thing that I really didn't like about this bag, and it's not, it's not a deal breaker or anything like that, but if I turn it around and we look at the back, I've taken one of these straps off, but I left one on so you guys could get an idea of what we've got. So it comes with, you know, two of these as like a backpack style, which I don't like because when you put this thing on, you've still got this much of the bag that basically comes up to the top of your head and you look like an idiot walking around with this thing. I'm 6'4", and still I look, this thing looks pretty big on my back. So I don't use these things. The good news is you can take them off. So you see it's got a, you unclip this here and then you undo this little strap here and then it comes through. See these little hooks here? You can just cover them up with the Velcro and they stay underneath there. You actually can, I guess if you wanted to, put something down in here. This is all one big channel that goes through there. So if you wanted to put cleaning rods or something in there, you could do that. Uh, I haven't really thought of anything else useful that you could put down there. Um, as far as the straps go, this side they do come off. You see I took, uh, I took this one off already. But basically you can just uh, web it through like such. And then it comes completely out. And then you've got the same thing. You can just vel put the Velcro down and it keeps it flat. So that's cool. Um, in this configuration though, you're only really going to be able to use this top handle here, which is fine. You know, you can Velcro it together like that. There's no shoulder strap, which would have been a nice feature to have. Like I said, even if it was removable, I've seen, I think 511 Tactical uses one of those, which, which would be nice. Um, you've also got this thing where you can cinch it together. Um, initially, I've seen some people say that like they wish they could cut this off and they think it's stupid. It's not that big a deal. Where this comes into play is what I talked about before. If you've got this loaded up with you know, magazines or something that's really heavy, then this is going to want to droop towards the ground. So if you cinch this up here, it mitigates that problem pretty well. So that's it. Like I said, I think this thing is around 80 bucks street price. I don't know what the MSRP is on it, but, um, you know, I, I use it fairly often and it's worked well for me. I try to get black all the time just because I know it's going to get dirty a tan one or a green one or something, or, you know, a, a digi camo, an urban camo, something like that. You know, you put this on the ground a couple times and then it ends up getting all dirty, which is why I try to just stick with black. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.